This is Channel 18's Action News. Central Kentucky's most comprehensive news report. Good evening, I'm Ken Gullett. About 70 State Human Resources Department employees are circulating a petition saying working conditions at Eastern State Mental Hospital here in Lexington are unsafe. If you were in downtown Lexington this morning, you may have thought there was a full-scale war from the sound of things. The guns and armor were real, but fortunately the bullets were only blanks. It was a veterans parade sponsored by the Veterans Observance Committee. Executive Director Bev Spicer says as far as she can tell, this was the first veterans parade held in Lexington in over a decade. The parade, which was held on Main Street, paused briefly in front of the courthouse in memory of former House Speaker William Kenton. State Democratic Party Chairman Tracy Farmer says he doesn't think it's a conflict of interest for him to serve as Public Protection and Regulation Secretary. Farmer was appointed to that post by Governor Brown yesterday. Today, State Republican Central Committee Chairman Liz Thomas said Brown showed the arrogance of power, as she put it, because Farmer, who will be regulating banks and the Alcoholic Beverage Control Board, is head of a bank in Cynthiana and holds two liquor licenses. Thomas says that's like asking a fox to guard a hen house. Farmer says the state has no authority over national banks, including the one he heads. Farmer also says the Republicans are grabbing for straws because Kentucky led the nation in margin of Democratic victories at the polls last week. Attorneys for the Haitian refugees being held in Fayette County will be rounded up by the NAACP. According to that civil rights group's deputy executive director, the Reverend Charles Smith was back in his hometown of Lexington today, saying his group is protesting to President Reagan the policies on Haitian refugees. It's racist in its nature. It takes place. On another topic, Smith says the NAACP feels recent unemployment figures showing unemployment at its highest level in years is devastating. New York Times today report it has been the word I want to do. Despite the president's economic problems, most of the people we talked with in Lexington today still have confidence in the Reagan administration's handling of the economy. Over five years. In other news, former UK football player Charles Jackson has been given a one-year suspended sentence for a shooting incident at a public park in Lexington. Fayette Circuit Judge Armand Angelusi ordered the 22-year-old Georgetown native to spend his nights in the local jail until going on probation December 1st. Two local junior high school cheerleading squads won honors today at a YMCA regional cheerleading competition in Richmond. Jesse Clark and Crawford will go on to compete with regional winners from Western Kentucky at the state championships in Danville on December 12th. Coming up, President Reagan says, despite economic problems, there will be tax cuts. That story when Action News continues. President Reagan says he's still working toward a balanced federal budget, even if it can't be done in 1984 as he had hoped. But he vowed in a speech to Republicans in New York last night that he will stick to spending cuts and not tax increases as a means of bringing the deficit under control. Andrea Mitchell reports. The president is fighting for... Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, the White House. One test of Reagan's ability to cut the budget will find him confronting a powerful special interest, the tobacco lobby. Although some Kentucky farmers may disagree, a lot of people say the tobacco price support system could cost the government many millions of dollars over the next couple of years. Irving R. Levine has that story. It started Irving R. Levine, NBC News, the White House. Next on Action News, the AccuWeather forecast says some fine autumn weather will remain in Kentucky through the weekend. Stay with us. Our high temperature today was 53 degrees. That's below normal by about 5 degrees. We had a beautiful day in Lexington, and we should have similar weather tomorrow, along with a warming trend as winds slowly turn to the south. But a cold front over the northern plains may replace our high-pressure center later in the week, helping produce rain sometime during the week. By midweek, temperatures should be about 10 degrees below normal. Let's take a look at current conditions. Right now in Lexington, we have clear skies, 41 degrees. The relative humidity is 65 percent. The barometric pressure, 30.11, and rising winds out of the southwest at 3 miles per hour. The AccuWeather forecast for tonight, crystal clear and chilly with a low of 35 degrees. Tomorrow, sunshine, then increasing cloudiness, a high of 64. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy with a chance of sprinkles and a low of 38 degrees. Monday's outlook, variable cloudiness and cooler with a high of 57. 
Tuesday, some cloudiness and cool with a high of 55. And on Wednesday, you can expect partly sunny skies. 59 degrees will be the high. Coming up, UK finally wins one. Mark Sock has sports in a moment. It was a long dry spell, wasn't it? A real long finally, dry spell. Finally, they broke it. They finally did. Ken, of course, speaking of the Kentucky Wildcats, the Miss... Ken, we were talking about, well, earlier tonight we were talking about the fight yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, Michael Spinks uh, remains undefeated, and he retains his World Boxing Association light heavyweight title with a big TKO this afternoon. Good. Thanks, Mark. Next on Action News, a new movie in town has people seeing PD. That story when we return. How long has it been since you were handed 3D glasses when you went to the movie theater? For some, never. For others, decades. What may be a new fad in movies has made its premiere in Lexington this weekend. Mike Taylor reports. These glasses have got to go. Mike Taylor, Action News. I don't know. I thought he looked better in those glasses. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> That's the news. Uh, thank you for watching. For Mark Sock, I'm Ken Gullett. Good night. The following program is made possible by a grant from Mexico. Mexico, stay out of our way or we'll kill you.